Well, it's a new year. Uh, one of our good friends has got an exciting project coming up for anybody that's in the L.A. area, and uh, I'll let him talk about it. Hey, here's Ethan Phillips. Whoa, Ethan. Hello, Larry. How are hey, you? how you doing, man? What's up, bud? I was just admiring your uh, play posters here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. But there's another one coming down the pike, I guess, here. Yeah, we're on, uh, about to open on February 13th a production of a play called uh, Wirehead by Matthew Benjamin and Logan Brown, which is a new play. And it's going to be at a company called the Echo Theater, uh, which is run by Chris Fields and Lauren Bass. And um, it is a, a, a brand new play. Um, it is about something called the singularity, which mm -hmm. is a merging of man with machine, something that doesn't seem to be uh, too far off, given what I read about in Wired magazine and all that stuff. Right, right. Um, and it is a, it's very funny, but it's serious, and it... Um, it probably takes place, you know, just like three or four years from now, who knows, uh, when yeah. um, there's a, a Chinese, private Chinese company develops something called uh, the Sintel Z Drive, which is an intracranial implant that's wired through your ear. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Um, what it does is basically boost the brain by 800%. And, um, you know, and these incredible things happen once these people get it. Uh, scientists discover the cure for AIDS, and um, all these miraculous things happen because all of a sudden we're like, almost more than human. Right. And, and it, it explores the ethical questions. I mean, is, how can their product be better than God's? Um, yeah. So to say, and then, the good stuff happens first, and then... And then all the problems happen, right? Yeah, right. And what are the ramifications, particularly with people who can't afford it, or there's some people that are not suited to it uh, in terms of their bio, neurological, chemical makeup, and they yeah. can't get it. So people yeah. are le being left behind, um, which is not news because of class wars going back to the beginning of time, but um, it explores all that stuff, and particularly uh, how it affects these uh, these two couples yeah. who uh, deal with it. And uh, it's it's a, it's a good play. It's a very good play. It should be real exciting. Um, the other actors, uh, besides myself, are, um, uh, I, I, I have them here so I don't pronounce it wrong, Jeremy Maxwell and Mark Rose, and Amanda Saunders, Sam Shelton, and um, Rial Paley, uh, are really terrific people. Yeah. No, I just, I remember the poster art was... Uh Provocative, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it is. It, oh, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. But hearing you talk about it, that almost sounds like the first steps of uh, Borgism or something there, that whole, where do you lose your humanity yeah. once you go down that path? That's, that's great. That's a really perceptive comment because they talk a lot about that. Is Are they still human? Do they have, a, um, can they still fall in love? And, and, then, and then can they... Um, can they love somebody who doesn't have it, you know? Mm -hmm. and that gets pretty messy in there. Um, oh, yeah. The left behinds or whatever. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a really great dramatic uh, conceit. And um, it's directed by a, a wonderful guy named Larry Biederman. He really knows the material well. And uh, it's going to be real, yeah. real terrific. I World think. premiere. World premiere, correct. And uh, it's a, what was the theater? It's called the Echo Theater. It is actually at... Um, what, what neighborhood it's, is it's, that? It's being, it's being done in a theater called Theater 52, uh, uh, Stage 52, which is uh, on West Washington Boulevard, uh, 5299 West Washington. That's, oh, okay. For people in L.A., that Washington Boulevard is uh, it's on Washington Boulevard between La Brea and Fairfax, which I think, I, oh, yeah. I don't know if that's Culver City or not, but that's where it is. Down that way, right. Yeah. yeah. Now, how did you get in, did you just see this happening? Do you know the well, guys? Well, I remember the company, uh, Echo Theater is a... Is a permanent company. It's been around oh, okay. for quite a few years, and, okay. they, and they do new productions every year. Um, as a member of a company, you're asked to be in or you audition or whatever, and right, so right, right, right. that's how I got involved in it, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I, my role functions more as a Greek chorus, kind of. Uh, I play a disc jockey, a uh, shock jock, who comments on what's going down. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, it's I, as you described it, I saw the wired, so I thought that's going to be a that's going to be interesting, and the art was pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. But to hear you talk about it, I said, "Well, this is total serendipity." But yeah, anybody that would be watching this is probably a, a Trek fan or a sci-fi fan, and mm -hmm. it's that's one of those. Oh, well, it's sci-fi. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I, I read about these. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we've all seen on sixty minutes. I mean, we, maybe we all have it, but but there was a great episode on sixty minutes about these dudes who can move a mouse with their mind and can make a computer do things with their mind. They're Electron, uh, electrodes yeah. are attached. Have you seen that? Do you see that? No, no. Yeah, they I... get electrodes ta attached to their head, and they and they they can command the computer just with their mind.
to write and move the cursor on the screen. So Sounds like the Clooney movie that came out. This was real. I mean, they, yeah, you know, it was yeah. documented. And, and, you know, they're talking about building these uh, these little robots that will go through your arteries and scour out the plaque. I mean, all these crazy yeah, things are yeah. happening. And who knows, in 20, yeah, 50 nice, years, yeah. you know, what's going to be going on? So yeah. they're exploring that. And it opens when? February 13th runs through uh, mid-March with the possibility of an extension. Of an extension. Okay. Well, we'll get down and... It's good. I'm glad I saw that happening and said, hey, let's... Uh, Go by and talk about it and get you, yeah, cool. get Thanks, you back man. and do the visit. What, what else is going on with you? You said you had a few things uh, Yeah, a couple things going in the on. Um, I, uh, I recently finished a, a play, uh, a full-length play that is being uh, workshopped in London in May. Oh, great. Um, uh, first, there's going to be a, a, a reading in Atlanta, uh, and then it goes from there to London and see what happens uh, yeah. if, if people are interested in it. Um, I've got a movie opening called A Night at the Silent Theater. Um, <laughs> that should be opening up in I think, the next couple of months. What is that? It's a comedy uh -huh. about a um, about a band, and uh, uh, it's pretty funny. I think it's pretty funny stuff. So, I bet what kind of what kind of band's rock, pretty a rock open? A band that's tr that uh, is trying to find a, a, a space to rehearse, and uh, and uh, it's a romantic comedy, uh, and. Um, uh, yeah, I shot it a while ago, so I can't remember too much about it. <laughs> but I do know that I laughed when I read the script. That's so, a good sign. Yeah. Always a good sign. Mm -hmm. Is it a wide release? Is it I, limited? I, I, I hope it is, but we don't yeah. know yet. Yeah. Um, Phil Lamar is in it, and Tony Todd. And, oh, uh, okay. You know, it's got a great cast. And, um, so we'll, we'll okay, see well, we'll look for it. Okay, we'll look yeah. for it. We'll look for it. Wow, yeah. And you said... Uh, oh, that's what... That was it. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... Uh, uh, I've been spending a lot of time. Uh, uh, I play the saxophone, and I've been doing a lot of band gigs. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, good. I'm in, a, I'm in a, a band called Well, the Jude Chickalella Band, which is I don't know if you know. Wait, Jude slow Chicalella. that down. You know Jude Chickalella? He's a wonderful actor. He was on Twenty Four. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. He's got a band. He fronts a band, and I play sax uh, for him. That's a rock band, and then um, I also play sax in uh, um, in uh, sometimes I jam with Tim Russ actually. Um, and then there's a small uh, jet well, it's actually not small. It's, there's nine of us. Uh, the Alan Wasserman band, which is a jazz. Oh band. yes, I know. Yeah. And we play in uh, uh, Altadena at a, at a little restaurant there called Pinocchio's. We play every couple of oh, months. Oh okay. okay. We've got a pretty good rep repertoire. Um, and uh, so we go from jazz to rock and jazz to rock, yeah. back and forth. Um, and then the. Um, well, um, I saw you sit in with uh, Vaughn and the Enterprise Blues well, band I'm a last. Yeah. Member of that band now, the Enterprise. Oh band okay. Band. We don't know when we'll get next, but you know, yeah, that's been a lot of fun too. So be on the lookout. I'm 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 doing a lot of that, and that's taking up more time than than ever. You know, the saxophone, which I love. You know, it's yeah. great. So, well, when did you write the play? That's over the last year. Okay, so um, that's been going too. Yeah, it's my second play. What? The first one um, called Penguin Blues. I wrote in the uh, late '80s, and that's been uh, published by Sam French, and oh, it's produced okay. all over the world. It's had lots and lots of productions. Um, but I never wrote another one after that. Uh -huh. I, I didn't have anything to write about until I thought of this one. It was no fluke. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I hope that this one is as successful as the first one. Yeah, yeah. Well, not good. Very good. Yeah. Look, real wood. <laughs> <laughs> well.